So I'd like to go over some maybe tips uh, when we're adding and subtracting positive and negative integers. So if you're still getting used to the idea of how to do this, here are some ideas that might help us along the way. So let's start off by adding two negative integers. So let's say we had negative three and we were adding it to negative two. So this is gonna turn out to be negative five. The way that I personally think of it is we have three negatives here. So you could say one, two, three negatives. And here we have two negatives, one, two. And the question is how many negatives do we have all together as a sum, which is addition. So we go one, two, three, four, five. We have five negatives. And so we represent that as five negatives. So you can think of it as when you have two negative numbers that you're adding, you just look at the positives. So that would be five. But then you know that everything here is going to be a negative. So that's why your answer is going to be negative. So three negatives plus two negatives is five negatives. For instance, if we had 20 negatives and we were going to add 15 negatives to that, if I have 20, and though it's too many for me to do, but just think of 20 negatives and 15 negatives, all together we have 35 negatives, or negative 35. So adding two negatives is going to make a very even more negative number. It's always going to be a number that's even more negative than either of these um, so when we combine these, it's going to make a much more negative number. Okay, so that's adding two negatives. What if we're adding a negative and a positive? When we're adding a negative and a positive, a number line is a good way to think of it. So let's say that we're at negative 20 on the number line. When we're adding something, that means that we're going to be going... A positive something we're going to be going to the right so here we would start at negative 20 and go to the right 15 units so we hop over 15 units so if we go over 15 units and we're starting at negative 20 we're gonna to go to the right 15 units we're not gonna make it all the way to 0 because to go from negative 20 to 0 we would have to add 20 units we're gonna get close but all the way not all the way, we're going to wind up, once we do this 15 times, we're gonna end up at negative five. So do you see that negative 20 is 20 units away from zero. We're not gonna get all the way, but we will get 15 units this way, which will be five short of zero. In other words, negative five. So I would use a um, a number line as a way to think of it or you could also think of it as having 20 negatives 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, when you have a plus and a minus here, they kind of cancel, they cancel each other out. It's like a positive charge and a negative charge. They cancel each other out to no charge. So they keep canceling each other out, but what do you have more of? You have more of these negative charges. So once all of these positive charges have, have gone up against the negative charges, 15 will only be able to make 15 of these neutralized. So this becomes neutralized, and 15 of these become neutralized, but we're still going to have five left over that haven't been neutralized. Five negatives. One, two, three, four, five. So that's another way to think of when you're combining negative 20 plus positive 15, you're going to add up, you're going to end up with something that's negative. Because the 20, the magnitude of 20, overtakes the 15. But Let's say we had it the other way around. Let's say we had, um, let's say we had a, uh, a, a negative five and we had a seven. 
So now let's combine these. We're adding negative 5 to a positive 7. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and here we have 7 of these positives. Do you see that these are going to cancel each other out? These positive and negatives will cancel each other out. But since 7 is more, has a higher magnitude than a negative 5, they're going to cancel out all of the negatives in this 5, and five, so five of these guys will turn out to negate or neutralize this negative five, but then you'll have two left over, which is these two positives. So that's another way to think about how to combine negatives and positives. Sometimes when you combine negatives and positives, you'll turn out with a, neg uh, a positive number. Sometimes you'll turn out with a negative number. It depends which one of these numbers has a larger magnitude. Um, if, it has a, if the negative number has a larger magnitude, like a, a larger absolute value, then your overall answer is going to be negative. Okay, um, how about subtraction? So that's addition. Um, oh, another way that we could think of, uh, yeah, well, let's, let's go on to subtraction. So if we now have subtraction, let's like say negative 2, um, minus 5. Let's do negative 2 minus 5. Okay, so there's another way to think of this. There's another way to think of this. If it helps you, whenever you're subtracting a positive, you could think of it as adding a negative. These two things mean the exact same thing. So remember we did addition before with, with two negatives? And if we had two negatives and five negatives, we came up with seven negatives, or negative seven. When you are subtracting a positive, when you're subtracting like this, all you have to do, so I'm gonna write that again here. Just wrote these two. If you wanna think of this as, if you see the, just a the subtraction sign here and that's it, you can think of it as this adding a negative, if it helps you, if it helps you to do that. So then negative 2 plus negative 5 is negative 7. If we, now let's think, so this will also be negative 7. How about another way to think of it? What if we thought of it on the number line? Let's say we were at negative 2 on the number line. We were at negative 2 on the number line. And whenever you're subtracting a num like a number like this, we're gonna to move to the left, okay? We're gonna to move to the left five. One, two, three, four, five. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, this is negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven. So we're going to the left because we're subtracting five. We go to the left even if, so that's why we get negative negative seven in the end. I mean, that goes with anything. If you add five minus one, we're at five here, okay? Um, we're at five here, and we go to the left one. See, we're still going to the left one. In this case, because five is so positive that even if we go to the left just one, we're still gonna remain at something that's pretty positive. So that's why five minus one is four. Just like on the number line, we go to the left and there we get four. What if we had a much larger number than one? What if we had something like six, five minus six? So here we're doing a subtraction problem. So here we're at five, but um, four, three, two, one, zero. this is zero. This would be negative one. Okay, do you see that the magnitude of six is bigger than the magnitude of five? So when we're taking away six, we are still going to the left, but six is a bigger number than five. So not only are we going one, two, three, four, five, but now six. So we end up at negative one. You see? So this taking away 6 from 5 overpowered the 5, and now we're in negative territory now. We have, so we need to use our negative numbers. So 5 minus 6 is negative 1. 
just like 15 minus uh, 16. So let's say we're at 15 on the number line. You go 16 this way, you'd end up at negative 1, okay? So in this case, this overpowers this and because you're subtracting more than was there in the beginning. So you end up in negative territory, okay? So that's subtracting. Um, how about, what if we are, um, what if we are subtracting, so we have a negative, and then we're subtracting a negative number? Oh boy. Okay, so whenever we're subtracting a negative number, the reason why I'm putting negative 4 here in parentheses is because I want to show the reader, in this case you, that I didn't put two dashes here by mistake. I meant to put two dashes here. Two, two, two signs that look like this right next to each other. So sometimes people might confuse this with one long one, but I want to make sure that the reader knows that, nope, this is actually two of these signs, okay? And in order to show that, I could either do it like this, or I could put a parentheses around here just so you absolutely make sure to read this as negative 5 minus negative 4, okay? So when you have two negatives right next to each other like this, with no numbers or anything else except maybe parentheses being in between them, what this is saying is we're doing the opposite. So negatives, in this case, you could think of as an opposite. So we're doing the opposite of subtracting, opposite of subtracting. So it's like a double negative in English. Um, there isn't nobody here, isn't and nobody are two negatives. So if there isn't nobody here, that means there is someone here, okay? So two negatives make a positive like that. Two negatives here make a positive. We're negating this negative, okay? Which means it's the exact same thing as turning it into a big plus sign. So when you have two negatives like this, it's the equivalent of big old positive sign. If you want, you take this negative right here, and it goes, it goes right here to make our plus sign. So these two negatives come together to make a plus sign. Now you're left with something that maybe is a little bit easier for you to think about. Negative five plus four, you can now think of a number line. You're at negative five here. You're gonna go to the right four, okay? One, two, three, four. And if you go four to the right from negative five, you'll wind up at negative one. It's still gonna be negative, your answer, because negative five has such a large magnitude that the positive four isn't enough to, to overtake it and make it positive, but it is enough to make it a lot less negative, okay? So negative five plus four is negative one. So going back to that, negative five minus negative four is also negative one, okay? These things mean the same exact thing, all right? So that's, that's subtracting a negative, which can, which can be tricky, okay? Um, those are some of the, the major ones that I wanted to go over. Again, if, let's say, the first number is not negative, but then you're subtracting a negative, okay, like this, or just to even make it clearer, I could put a, a parenthesis around this to make sure that I, I wanted you to know that there were two negatives basically touching each other. So this is the same thing as three plus two is five. So three minus negative two is five, okay? Now, um, for division and multiplication, when you have two, when you have two of the same signs like this, a negative and a, ne a negative number multiplied against a, no a negative, another negative number, you're gonna come up with a positive number in the end. Now, I put a plus here just to show that it's a positive eight, but whenever you have a plus eight, you don't actually need that. Okay, 
Just like four times two is eight. See, these have the same sign, these have the same sign, so these are gonna be positives in the end. If only one, if there's only one negative, if there's only one negative, then that makes your product the answer to that negative. So either the four or the two could be negative and it'll make that negative. Same with division. Same exact thing with division. If you have six divided by negative three, there's only one negative here, okay, so it's negative two, but if it was negative six divided by negative three, here we have two negatives, and so that'll be a positive. See here we have two negatives, so we have a positive two. Here we only have one, so we have a negative. Or the negative, if the negative was over here, negative six divided by three, that's also negative two. So hopefully that's a good overview. Um, and please ask me if you have questions. Thanks.